Well, good morning, girls and boys. Hey, you're starting to remember things again, but let's maybe try that one more time, just for good measure. Good morning, girls and boys. Good morning. It's good to see you here again as we gather together in our homes to celebrate God and to praise and worship Him and to hear from Him and what He has to say to us through the Bible. And this morning I switched things around a little bit for you and I had uh, the scripture reading before this video because number one, I wanted you all to see Reese doing the reading for us and she did such an amazing job. Uh, but secondly, too, I wanted you guys to hear the, the Bible passage that I'm going to be teaching your moms and dads about. So at the end of that passage, that were those words from Jesus, Jesus says to his disciples, that anything you ask for in my name, I will do for you. That is talking about prayer. And of course, when we pray, we often, when we end our prayer, we end it with, in Jesus' name. So I want us to think about, well, what does it mean to pray in Jesus' name? And so again, I'm going to take you outside into the beautiful weather and talk about what it means to pray in Jesus' name. So what you see in front of us, boys and girls, is uh, our family's vegetable garden. And if I walk up real close, you can see some of the small plants that uh, we put in a couple of weekends ago. And also, too, uh, there's some seeds starting to come up. And uh, here we have some tomatoes, and in the back there's some peppers and some broccoli and cauliflower under this netting. And then here we have some lettuce and also some celery. As you can see, the lettuce and the celery and all these plants are all still quite small. And in order for them to get big and grow and uh, give us some fresh vegetables and fruits that we can eat, uh, we need to water this garden and take care of it. But I'm not a very patient person. And I'd really like for this celery and lettuce and broccoli and cauliflower and tomatoes to just grow. And, you know, in the Bible it says that anything we ask for in Jesus' name, he will give to us. And that was even in the passage that Reese read just a moment ago for us. That Jesus told, tells his disciples, anything you ask for in my name, I will do for you. So, if I were to pray and ask God in Jesus' name, for these plants to grow up big enough so that I can get my tomatoes and my broccoli and everything off of it tomorrow, do you think that God's going to answer that prayer? Probably not. You know, there's another story in the Bible where Jesus tells his disciples, if you say to this mountain, uh, throw yourself into the sea, and you have faith as small as a mustard seed, it will do it. And so does that mean then, if I have enough faith... And if I pray in Jesus' name, I could say to that tree over there, uproot yourself and move about six feet back into the long grass. No, that wouldn't happen. So then, when Jesus says, anything you ask for in my name, what does he mean? Okay, so going outside didn't really answer very well the question, what does it mean to pray in Jesus' name? I gave you some pretty silly examples, but I did that on purpose to help us to think about what it actually does mean to pray in Jesus' name. You see, in Jesus' time, when somebody said to do something in my name or in their name, that meant do it as if you yourself were that person. So in other words, when Jesus says, everything I do, I do in my Father's name, that means he's doing everything in God's name way of doing things. He's doing it because God sent him to do it. And so when we pray and we ask for things in Jesus' name, what we're actually praying for is we're asking for Jesus to do what he wants to do through us, to do what he wants to do through our prayer. This year, unfortunately, because of COVID-19 and not being able to be at the church, we are not going to have Kids Connect. But as a bit of a way of a throwback uh, to a couple of years ago, there was a couple of videos that we did for Kids Connect that uh, were really fun and energizing. And this next one uh, is one from a couple of years ago that we did, and it's called One Way Jesus. And I invite you to stand up and, and get moving with it, get your uh, blood flowing, moms and dads as well, and enjoy the song with your kids. 
And um, the song has in it the words from John chapter 14, verse 6, where it says, You are the way, the truth, and the life. I live by faith and not by sight. Everything I do, I do for you. And that connects with praying in Jesus' name. So enjoy this song, and we'll see you next week. You are.